All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Mike here, and welcome back to the Okami HD Last Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just went and saved Laika from Oruchi that was going on, and now it looks like we have to go and return our way back to the Ezo Fuji area, uh, the same type of place that we walked around a little bit, but there wasn't really anything too much going on. But now, there is going to be something that is going to be going on within that area for now, and it looks like we're going to be heading on into our next up-and-coming dungeon, which is going to be known as the Waku Shrine. And I believe we have went and encountered out within that area just for a little bit but i believe the door is actually closed and we cannot be able to go and hound into that way just yet but maybe something will be happening from here but let's go and try to hopefully save the land of kamui without it having to get frozen over here and uh, let's just try to make a beeline all the way into our way now just be careful with the blizzard that's going to be in here because there is going to be some enemies that are just going to be uh spawning around like no tomorrow but it seems like uh even if you get on out of Yash Pit, it looks like uh, you'll be able to uh, head all the way back uh, right from the beginning of the start. Because I know that in Yash Pit, it's kind of like almost like the Lost Woods type of area. And I know that if you take one one uh, type of little uh, move around, uh, you'll be able to get yourself shot back to, I believe, the beginning part of the area. So that was pretty nice. At least we could be able to go and get ourselves all the way back to here. But whoa. Well, now that's one nasty blizzard. Yeah, you can say that again there, Ishun. It's blowing from the, uh, from the rear of the village. Well, anyways, we gotta go and get uh, Laika to the altar. So we're almost to the edge of the of the Lachoshi uh, Lacho Lake. Yes. Okay, so let's just keep on heading forward. Now, I believe, uh, isn't there somebody that we can go and speak to? Ah, here we go. There's the Mark guy, the merchant dude. Ah, you're safe. Well, I thought the demons got you. I didn't think that you would see you again, but here you are. This is great. Well, you better get on with the volcanic incantation right away. Unless you want to go and buy something first, that is. <laughs> well, let's go and uh, see what this man has. Oh, there it is. The resurrection beads. Yes, let's go and buy it. Can I buy it? Yes, I can buy it. Oh, hooray. All right, well, let's just go and make sure. Let's go and uh, equip that into our stuff right here. Hooray. Well, I'm going to be liking that. Uh, now... We have a much better sword here, right? Yeah, we're gonna put that. Well, actually, let's do something like this here. We'll do this, and then we'll put this as the sub weapon. There you go. Yeah, let's go put all of our new uh, our new weapons to good use. I, uh, I actually have to say, for me personally, I really do like this uh, lightning type of sword that's happening here. Can't wait till we go and uh, use that against with some of these uh, new enemies that will happen out here at some point relatively soon. So let's just go and keep it straight up from here. I'm pretty certain that the area is not too far away. Because, uh, because yeah, if you guys kind of just saw that there, that's that uh, entrance way that we have to go and make our way on into here. Because I know that uh, the Elder or whoever that was here, the other part of the leader, opened up uh, this area from the last time from before, right? So here we go. Let's move on into this way. And let's go and do this quickly. Let's head on over to that shrine. Well, sheesh, what was this nasty blizzard? I mean, where the heck does this thing come from? Hmm. Well, didn't we know that a little bit a while ago? I don't even remember myself because it's been so long since I haven't really stepped foot into a comic. Because if you guys don't know, we are currently, of course, doing our time with uh, Ocarina of Time and also uh, with the other new series with Final Fantasy X. So, here we are. We're finally here now. So, if you like it, you better do something now. I thought that everyone would be gathering at the altar, but nobody's here. Not even Old Man Kemu or Smackle. Uh, well, we can't make uh, like a prey all here alone in this weather. Oh, got it. Uh, where the heck did everyone go? Well, you know what? The only one thing that I can only probably think of is that there is a shelter or some sort of house that's all the way at the very uh, highest point of where that uh, where that uh, dungeon area is going to be at. So let's just go and keep on uh, reaching all the way over into there. Now, when we go and start heading on into that dungeon way, uh, just be a little bit careful because there is going to be some cannons at the entrance that will be shooting out very fast. So you may possibly want to go and have to use your uh, special brush technique uh, to get around from all the uh, slowness around uh, from all the different cannons that are going to be shooting as quickly as they can. Whoa. Wow, with this blizzard like just happening like so fast out here, I can barely even see anything where I'm going. This is like almost playing like, uh, well, I know that this game and Twilight Princess kind of almost have like the same type of feel to it, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of like heading to that, uh, to that Yeti house in Twilight Princess where like there is like some bit of some craziness of blizzards that are going to happen because like it's like so hard to go and see to walk around there. So what's up with that nasty blizzard? Well, it's, uh, uh it's the day of darkness. This day comes every hundred years now it's upon us again. That's why the monsters start making the, the the blizzard even fierce. And Oki, uh, how did he be so uh, irresponsible at a time like this? 
He destroyed the gate here on his way to the Waku Shrine. Oh, what? Well, I tried to go and stop him, but he was just waving the Kuton sword around about. Well, he was uh, through the gate before I could even go and do a thing. Well, I guess it did go and uh, cut it down, right? Because because that Kuton also went and sliced down the, the spirit gate as well to open it up. So now Kami, uh, uh, so now the whole uh, world of Kamui uh, could uh, face, uh, freeze over uh, whether the eclipse comes or not. Okay, uh, Oki uh, suddenly disappeared after we uh, defeated Oruchi. So never thought that he would come here and do something like this. Well, I, I bet that he just wants to go and steal all the glory from himself, huh? No, Oki's not like that. I understand why he took the Divine Kuton Sword. Uh, he was just trying to do what was right for the village. And then when the two demons got violent at the shrine on Ezefuji, it was Oki who just came to Kemu's rescue. Huh? Well, I thought Smackle was the one who saved old man Kemu. Oki acted as bait so that Kemu and Smackle could escape. Mm. So here we go. A little bit more backstory here. They survived because Oki acted as their shield and fought for them. Oki's the strongest among us, but even so, that he was no match for them. He was lucky to go and come home alive. Wow, well, that's quite a feat surviving a battle against those two demons. But he was angry that he couldn't defeat the demons, so he took the sword and left the village and fight again. I know it's unforgivable that he stole the sword like that. But uh, he's just trying to do the right thing. All he cares about is doing what is best for the village. Hmm. Well, it won't be long before the eclipse makes the sun disappear. And if the volcanic incantation doesn't start as a Fuji erupting, the Kamui will get colder until it freezes over completely. Please, Laika. We're all relying on you to make this work. Okay, uh, Oki uh, always told me uh, what kind of Onia he wanted me to become. Uh, he told me to be a good Onia and use my power to go and help everyone. Do you think that I help everyone if I pray like I always do? Who cares about this stupid blizzard? I'm gonna pray for our mountain to come back to life. Well, that's my girl. Well, let's go, my little warrior. If you don't start the incantation soon, it'll be too late. Yeah, you guys should probably be making a beeline towards to that altar as quickly as you can. And we'll just have to go and get ourselves a little bit saved up. Isn't there a save point somewhere around over here? I'll have to go and find one. Let me just go and check my map here for a sec. Oh, geez. That does not seem good at all. What is going on, man? Okay, I guess it just became nighttime out of, out of, out of all of that there. I guess we'll just have to just make a beeline right over into this way, huh? We're really going to go through the gate, Amy? The ruins of Waku Shrine lie within Azufuji. It's a strange place discovered by the people of Web Gear long ago. And the peak lies at altar with the statues of the twin demons. And the trail up there is littered with odd contraptions. Ooh. So the twin demons are known as Lichu and Nekachu. Now, we already kind of learned about these two guys already from some of the backstory that some of the other uh, characters have been talking about so far. But I guess we can learn a little bit more here. Uh, their altar statues came to life and terrorized the land long ago. They were defeated. And they're imprisoned by a legendary Onia hero. Ooh. Okay. Well, it seems that they have broken free and once again wrecked havoc. So this can't be a uh, coincidence. I mean, remember what that no good night tale said. You know, something about Yami, ruler of the land of darkness. I don't know exactly who y this Yami character is, but it's all sorts of strange things just started happening once Aura Ruchi returned. Who knows if this battle shrine has anything to do with all that. But I think that we need to be extra careful this time. Well, you know, we have defeated Aura Ruchi twice. And we also went and defeated Night Tales once. So I'm pretty certain that whoever this... Lekachu and Nekachu characters are going to be operator and we should be somewhat okay around over here. Oh god, yeah. So here it comes out with the cannons. Now this is where you want to be very careful. And not only that, but they are homing. Because uh, they will follow your every movement that is going to happen around over here with these cannons. Not the actual cannonballs themselves, but the actual cannons that are going to happen. So, so with this you say take it slow and easy, that's exactly what you kind of want to do here. So just make sure that you at least put a little bit of some slowness down over this way. And just make sure that you just keep on doing this over and over again until your heart's content. And just be careful of all the different ice types of things that are going to be in the way. Because they will cause you to get freezed and that would not be good either. Ow. Yeah, now we're getting like really close into, uh, into their line of sight. Now this is where things are going to get a little bit more tricky. Okay, just go, go, go. Made it through. I just need to get to that door. That's all I need to do. Oh, God. Ow. Well, you know what? It's all right. I still made it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. Oh, thank you. I made it. I made it to the entrance. Thank God. I thought for sure I was going to be at least losing some health, but I actually survived. So that's good. All right. Let me just get my camera back up into action here. Is there any save points at all? 
I know that there looks to be like a key there. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, so this is going to be somewhat of our ice dungeon that's going to be here for a little while. So just be very careful about what happens around over here. Because there looks to be like a lot of ice type of things that we have to be, real, be really careful about. Even with those icicles just falling out of the sky. Huh. You know what? To be honest with you, this area kind of does almost feel a little bit like, uh, like uh, what the Yeti Mansion dungeon is all about that's in here. Back in Twilight Princess. So what do I have to do? Do I have to like walk on some tight ropes and other things are going to happen around here? Okay, so apparently we can go and bite on these. So I wonder if we have to go and probably uh, take these guys with us here. Okay, so this door cannot go and open. So that's something interesting that we cannot go and do. Let me just go and probably drop this back down for now. I'm just going to go and uh, open up with this guy here. Oh, another one of these vengeance slips. So I don't know. Are any of these spirit type of creatures going to be showing back up again? Do I probably jump scare me again? I don't know. For me personally, I don't know too much about within this dungeon. Okay, so it seems like what we have to go and do here. It looks like I may have to go and push around with this, uh, with this boulder with that ice that's there. Now, I don't really want to go and, uh basically take away these ice here because i think we may probably need that boulder or, or we may probably need that uh, snowball that's going to be there with us okay so let's go and ow can i even push that at all no i cannot okay you know what this looks like a job where we may probably have to go and call up for my special firepower yeah there we go now i think we can be fully able to just push this ball really Okay, so not even my firepower could even do anything about with this. Hmm. Alright. Well, hold on. This has to at least do something, right? No, apparently that does not do anything. Hmm. Okay, I think I may probably have to do a little bit more research on how we're going to have to get through this. Because I don't think we'll be able to go and uh, do everything that we need to do here. Is this also something biteable as well? Okay, I guess not. Like, I don't really want to, like, use this fire at all because that's going to... Oh, okay, so that's going to probably break something up here. What's that going to do? Ah, okay. So that's pretty helpful. So what the... Is this some kind of game or something? Are we supposed to, like, balance against that weight on the other side? Well, in case you haven't noticed, I don't uh, weigh a ton. So I guess what we'll have to do is we'll have to just keep on placing other different things. And I think that's why we have these guys right here to go and do all this for us. So if I go and let's say drop this down, that takes care of that. Then if I come over here and pick up with this guy as well too, that should at least, uh, oh, get up there. I don't know. Is that going to, like, change the momentum of anything? Huh. I don't know. What happens if I go and step on this guy here? Does this change out the weight? Well, it seems like we got ourselves with two extra other ones that are there. So, I guess the other one that we are slightly missing is having to go and pick up with this guy. But I don't know how we're going to be able to do that. Since I don't think we have, like, the proper biting technique out here. Hmm. Yeah, and I can't even pick this up at all. Unless if I can probably slash it or something. No, slashing it doesn't even work. I think we may probably have to go and head back to the dojo, guys. I think we may probably need to get a little bit of a special biting technique out here. I may probably have to come back to this later. Okay, well, anyways, you know what? At least I kind of know exactly what we have to go and do here. It's just that I have to figure out how I'm going to be able to go and pick up with that bonsai tree. And take it over here so that we can at least get the other platform ready. But anyways, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. I'll try to figure out what we need to do here. A little bit more within this dungeon as well, too. And I'll see you guys then. And peace.